DaVinci Resolve 20.2 just dropped and there are two killer features that I'm loving. If you saw the last video, this is part two. Feature number two that I'm absolutely jazzed on is called Ripple Edits Always Insane. Now, while this isn't the magnetic timeline from Final Cut Pro, I think my Final Cut Pro boys and girls are going to be pretty excited about this one. The reason is, is that now, say I make a cut on this top clip here, down below, I don't have a cut. And then I come to this clip and I go into trim mode and I want to drag out that clip underneath at the playhead you could see in track number one a cut was made and the stuff beneath it drug with it essentially everything that was right here stayed in sync with what you had up above again this isn't perfect magnetic timeline behavior but this is something that feels a lot more like final cut where you actually drag stuff and stuff moves accordingly both in front of and behind the moving point that you're doing i do have to say again as someone who's danced in both realms proficiently if not professionally for a few years now. This has taken some getting used to. It's a little wonky. Again, I kind of learned how to do the track-based thing in DaVinci Resolve. This is a little bit more like Final Cut, but if you're thinking about switching again, guys, there is, there's never been, I've, I made a video about the following playhead that you can enable. These are two great features, all since DaVinci Resolve 20 has come out that make DaVinci Resolve able to feel much more like Final Cut Pro. You might want to consider switching now more than ever. And uh, yeah, it is looking looking really good for DaVinci Resolve. This application just keeps knocking my socks off. That's all I've got on 20.2. Stay dorky.